Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to solve a quadratic equation by completing the square. And the quadratic equation uh, we have here is x squared minus x minus 132 equals 0. So we want to find values of x that satisfy this equation. Uh, first thing is first I'm going to rearrange this equation a little bit by taking the negative 132 over to the other side and when it goes to the, uh, over to the other side it uh, of course becomes a positive 132 and the uh, next step we want to do is to uh, realize that uh, we have an identity, have a quadratic identity called the perfect square. So if I write x plus b in brackets and then square it, uh, this should equal, when expanded, x squared plus 2bx plus b squared. Okay. So, um, in this case, uh, we have a negative x as our second term and 2bx as our second term in our uh, perfect square here. So we want to match uh, that, we want to match these together. So, therefore, uh, 2b is equal to negative 1. So we're basically just matching the coefficients of the x. And that implies that our value for b is equal to negative a half. Okay? And then that implies that b squared is equal to one quarter. Okay, now, so with our equation, we can now rewrite uh, this equation again. So x squared minus x. We're going to add the b squared term to uh, the final part of the equation here. So, we can write x squared minus uh, x plus a quarter is equal to 132. And that's not quite true, okay, because we've added this term plus a quarter to uh, the left-hand side of the equation. And to make the statement true, we have to add one quarter to the right-hand side of the equation. So, basically we need to treat an equation like a set of balance scales. What we, need, what we do to one side of the equation, we do to the other side. So, we've added a quarter here. And so we need to add a quarter to the other side. Uh, I'm going to take the problem to the right-hand side of the page. So now we can write we can rewrite the left-hand side of the equation as um, x minus a half squared. So x minus a half squared is the perfect square of x squared minus x minus a quarter. And that equals 132 plus one quarter. We can carry this uh, calculation out too. So that ends up being 529 over 4. Okay, so the next step is to take the square root of both sides. And 
And when we take the square root, we have to realize there are two possible solutions, a positive and a negative. So we take positive and negative 529 divided by 4. And that will give us an answer of uh, positive or negative 23 on 2. Okay, so finally to uh, find solutions of x, we just bring this a half over to the other side. Bring this a half over to the other side of the equation. So I'm just going to move uh, move this down a little bit. So x is equal to one half plus or minus 23 on 2 and that is equal to um, 1 plus or minus I'm sorry 1 plus or minus 23 So our solutions for x are uh, 1 plus 23 on 2 and that's equal to 24 on 2 which equals 12 and our other possible solution for x is uh, a negative sorry 1 minus 23 on 2 which equals negative 22 on 2 which gives us a result of negative 11 so that's it that's how you would complete the square to find the solution of a quadratic equation uh, I'll do another example on this in the next video I hope this has helped uh, if it has please give me a like and if you if I can help you with any math problem please uh, comment below and I'll get to you in future videos thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video